Yo, what's good? Everyday Superpower, where we talk game, body language, human relationships, psychology, everything in between, yeah? Meow. Today, I'm going to talk to you about dominance. Oh, I want to be a dominant man. Alright, first and foremost, let me break this down to you. Half of the game is psychology, alright? Ooh, half of the game is understanding the mind of a woman. The aim of the game is to understand the differences between man and woman. The aim of the game is to understand both femininity and masculinity and understand that the two can cross over and you yourself must have such a great understanding in knowing that if you appear as too much of one or the other, you may unconsciously be overcompensating and showcasing the counter opposite to the woman turning her off. Wow, isn't it deep, okay? So, I think half of this is not necessarily going to be down to me telling you anything. It's going to be more so down to telling you what you should do if you want to engage with women and be perceived as dominant. So, biologically speaking, yes, If we acted on masculine principles as men, we would cover half of the ground we need. Now the problem is you're being force fed messages from the media and through societal engineering that you should not act in particular ways because it is detrimental to your character, the world will perceive you in a negative way and they use that as a tool to manipulate young men into being weak so they can't overthrow the powers that be. Isn't that crazy? Because the people who are telling you or the people who are telling them to tell you how you should be are in masculine dominant positions are clearly receiving the money, clearly receiving the women, clearly receiving the resources as to which we all want, but if we want to go out and have to get it, we have to work contrary to what we've been told a man is, yes? What's your perspective? What's your perception on toxic toxic masculinity, okay? Because half of them things aren't even toxic. So this is the world we live in, yes? That's biologically speaking, you need to understand your evolutionary background. Now, there is some dispute as to whether we did turn from Neanderthal to man, or whether we were, uh, we had some visitors along the way, which, uh, you know, created us into what we were. But you need to understand the processes that may, and I say may, because I didn't live on this planet back then. So I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything's factual unless I've seen it with my own two eyes, right? I'm not going to read the book and take it for granted. That's not my world. I question everything and anything. I'm a skeptic. So evolutionarily, biologically speaking, you need to know that perception. You need to know that uh you need to know the theoretics of our evolutionary biological background in order to know how we work, how society works, the tribalistic standards, uh, what we can provide and what the woman can provide and how it links into that hardwiring that may exist in the middle of our brains, the limbal system, the limbic system, the primitive mind, the chimpanzee, yes? We need to understand that, okay? From there, it's up to you if you wanted to take a spiritualized standpoint and read the holy books, the holy scriptures and understand their perspective of what man and woman is, is where we derive from and how that's symbolic and metaphorical for how we engage in positive and necessary relationship in this day and age outside of the noise and the racket of the subversive media that is trying to create a different identity for us and go against the truth. From there, we look at the external to the internal and we look at the psychological 
and now we need to understand how we influence now we need to know how our upbringing makes us different how we see the world differently from day one okay hormonally yes chemically yes physically from the fairer sex and the vice versa so we can understand who we are what differences we have what battles we both have maybe some we share and we can start to understand and see eye to eye this is the depth of understanding you need if you actually do want to be a dominant individual because by your nature you might want to act that way but when you go through the schools when you go through the workplaces once you are surrounded by 99.9% .9 of individuals who are not on second thought behaving in a way as to which feels natural to them, but more so what they have been um, indoctrinated to act like, you will start to see the cracks in what works and what doesn't. Some things seriously work and some things don't. You can start to manoeuvre, you can start to have understanding of self. You can start to have understanding of society, understanding of man and woman. Yes? So when we talk on dominance, it's a matter of understanding your role, accentuating it, falling into it, and knowing that it's what will satisfy your very soul, your spirit, and give your brain the necessity it has always desired. It will give your life energy, the force and pursuit of everything that is necessary to you as an animal, to you as a human being, to you as the great above and the great below. It's all within your hands. It's not about putting a suit on and pretending to be somebody else. It's not about being rough in the bedroom it's not about being the loudest man in the room because when somebody comes in understanding what they see that's a whole different story that's some serious game right there we can go deep into that one We've got two links in the description of this video. One will take you through to my catalogue of body language. What I've composed of my own material. It'll teach how to read people from A to B through their non-conscious behaviour. Second to that is the Patreon where I assess and analyse. We observe together real life first dates. I break down the attraction and repulsion cues. You take that into the real world. You'll never have problems again. I swear to you. That's the real game. I'm signing out. Click like and subscribe.